It was Thursday yesterday and there were some throw down beginning with Victor Oladipo. Pretty jerseys, pretty court, better dunk. Watch that again. All over Andre Drummond. Oladipo. Oh, he would go on to win that one. 110 to 104. That's nasty. All right, Bulls, Raptors. This time, Zach Levine. Remember, he was in the dunk contest a couple of years ago. He's like, I'm done with that. Lloyd Markkinen, you ain't done. Markkinen, the two-handed slam. Ooh. Bulls win 122-113. Suns, Clippers, Kawhi Leonard. This was crazy. Just throw it down over three guys. I like Devin Booker. He stayed out of the way. He was like, I don't want none of that smoke. Oh, what I do, baby. Beautiful. Pistons, Kings next, and Maurice Harkless. Oh, yes, I love that Clippers exactly bench, by the way. They're <laughs> like, what am I watching? I can't that's even really stand up straight. Okay, now Pistons, Kings. Here we go, Maurice Harkless. Harkless nice yep. Shot. It looked pretty casual until that last Olympics. second exclamation point. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> what the kids on TikTok call bussin. Kings lose 113-101. Okay, now moving on to the NBA tonight, the 76ers. They're just a half game back of the Nets for first in the East. They're in New Orleans to play the Pelicans. New Orleans, of course, coming off that 28-point loss to the Nets. The Nuggets looking to extend their win streak to eight as they host the Spurs. They beat the Spurs already by 10 on Wednesday. Denver hasn't won eight in a row since 2013. And the Bucks host the Hornets in a matchup between third and fourth place teams in the East. Charlotte won the first meeting between these teams this season despite Giannis putting up 34 points. ESPN senior writer Zach Lowe joining us now on Sports Center. Hi, Zach. Your weekly column up right now on ESPN Plus uh, with everything you like and you dislike from around the league in the NBA. And there's so much action to break down. So let's begin with some of the stuff that you do like. And we're going to begin in the Mile High City. Yeah, one thing I like, keep an eye on the Denver Nuggets. It's all about Aaron Gordon right now, but nothing there happens without the best two-man game in the NBA, Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic. These guys are death by a thousand cuts. Open a little space here, back to Jokic, a little more space here, a little more space, and then finally they've got you broken. They have a million tricks in their bag. They have an answer for every scheme you can throw at them. If you blitz, Jokic is going to pick and pop for threes. If you switch, either Murray is going to roast your big guy, and look at this entry pass to Jokic coming out. It's beautiful. And Jokic is going to mash a little guy in the post. They are unstoppable. Another thing I like, Time Lord in Boston. Look at the passing. He's averaging almost four assists a game since Brad Stevens promoted him to their starting center. And boy, do the Celtics need a big man who can get their guys moving and cutting off the ball so it's not iso, iso, iso. He gives them a vertical threat, an offensive rebounding threat. If the Celtics can just get healthy, get on the same page, their new starting five and with Fortier coming off the bench, they have a chance to make a little bit of a run in the East and finally sort of stabilize their season. Yeah, if there is a time to get it going, it is right now. The Celtics have won five of their last eight games, and they host Minnesota tonight. Okay, meanwhile, can't all be positive. Let's now get to some things that you don't like starting in Miami. Well, I just don't like that the Heat, it just feels like they've been trying to figure out their identity all season. Jay Crowder was their glue guy. None of the replacements they've had for him have really worked, and now... We await news on Victor Oladipo's knee. But look at their starting five. There's just no shooting. Look how clogged the paint is. The spacing isn't there. The rhythm isn't there. They have really missed that Crowder piece of the puzzle for them. Kind of a stretch four who really rounds out their lineup. And it just feels like the Heat have been cycling through starting five, cycling through players, trying to figure it out. And they're running out of time to get there. But never doubt the Heat. And the last thing I don't like this week, this is only kind of a half don't like. Zach Levine, 13 assists last night, so he's making me look like an idiot. He's just a little too turnover prone. That pass just isn't there. Some of his passes, just a little inaccurate. That one's behind Daniel Tice right there. Here's another one behind Lowry Markinen. Some defenses are, are just sitting on his passes. They see them coming early. We're about to see Joe Ingles just sort of stand in a passing lane right here and steal this ball. But this is why I love the addition of Nikola Vucevic because he's a great playmaking center. He can take some of that burden off of Zach Levine. The two of them play off of each other really well. So I think that trade will work out for the Bulls. Yeah, and as you mentioned, Levine, he's averaging a career-high 3.7 turnovers per game this season. Everybody catch uh, Zach's weekly column up now on ESPN+. Zach, thank you so much.